Hey, it's Webs here with a new Hearthstone video, this time for Standard Hearthstone. We are going to be revisiting the very first deck that I ever put up on my channel, which was Quest Demon Hunter. I figured because Demon Hunter has gotten a lot of new support that actually allows you to complete each individual step of the quest incredibly quickly, such as Sightless Magistrate or the Razor Glaive Sentinel or even the Magnifying Glass, that this would be the perfect time to do so. Across the 20-ish games that I played with this deck, I had around a 47% win rate, which wasn't actually that bad. However, this deck is a little bit inconsistent. Even though I am running a bunch of draw power, it does heavily rely on those cards that I mentioned to actually be able to complete your quest line. However, because there are a large number of those cards nowadays, you can actually complete it quite easily and then just finish off your opponent with a Jace Darkweaver as you have a bunch of fell spells within your deck. Okay, for the Morgan Guide, there are two cards that are really incredible to keep in your open hand and will actually change how you mulligan. These two cards being Sightless Magistrate and Magnifying Glaive. If you have either of these cards in your open hand, you're in an incredibly good position and you're going to want to look for a lot of cheap cost cards so you can actually just empty your hand out really, really quickly before you play either of these two down. That means you're going to avoid any other type of draw power besides these two cards. And if you don't actually have them, then you're just looking for generic good stuff aggro cards such as Bibliomite, Vicious Slither Sphere, or even the Peasants, or even more draw power. With that all being said, let's look at some game. Okay, time for a game against Paladin. Let's mulligan everything besides the Peasant and the quest line away. Okay, Fossil Fanatic isn't technically something I want to see, but we do have the Bibliomite to put it back into the deck if we really need to. Okay, just putting the quest line down. So there are 40 cards. It makes me assume that it's automatically going to be Jailer, as it usually is. We're going to shuffle the Fossil Fanatic back into the deck just because Peasant costs less. I'm thinking about using the Relic of Extinction there, but I don't want to use it yet. Out of all of the decks that someone has actually come up with, honestly, Jailer Paladin is one of the ones that I really want to cover the issue is I don't know if there's any unique way to actually run it since people have basically figured it all out. And I really don't like net decking someone else. I try to avoid it as much as I can. I think the only time I've ever net decked something was a mercenaries video. And even then I felt bad for doing it. And I did end up giving my source when I did. Getting the second sight list doesn't really do us much. This should allow us to... Oh, perfect. Because we can shuffle the Jace back into the deck. Okay, what do we want to do here? We can go face just to get the damage in. They're probably going to attack our peasant. Yeah, let's just go face. Okay, Nogalina. City tax. That's a bit frustrating. Okay, so if we use the Bibliomite, that shuffles the Jace back into the deck. And then uh, we're one mana short. Might not want to do anything next turn, to be honest. Okay. Let's use Demon Claws, I guess. And then we can use Multi Strike just to go face. Get it out of our hand, draw two additional cards. Getting the second step done, putting down the Slither Spear. Oh, that's to be a little bit annoying to deal with we should be able to if we can get rid of that one one okay so what do we want to do here hmm what to do what to do uh let's use that this down put the jace back into the deck use the multi-strike and then the fell barrage killing one then kill the other and then just go face twice the next turn we'll complete our quest, though that might be a little bit worrisome with a Theotar in our future, probably. So though we're going to be able to kill that. Oh, Magnifying Glass might be interesting. All the draw power in the world when I don't want it. Let's draw three, I guess. Then not place anything. No. How dangerously do I want to live here? Because we can put down that. And let's just go face. I'm not going to play dangerously at all. 
I'd rather minimize the chance of them taking our quest line. Don't do this. If you're playing this deck, do not allow your quest line to stay in your hand for an additional turn. It will get it stolen, and I have had it happen before. Oh, that's funny. Okay, we're going to kill one here. Then we're going to kill the other, like that. Then we have a bunch of draw power in hand, so this should be really fun from this point of view. Okay, holy mackerel. Oh, they're going to wipe out our 7-7. Seven, seven. That's a pain. Well, all that hard work for nothing. It's fine, though. I wasn't expecting it to stick around for long. Oh, Fell Barrage. Nice. We can do that. We can use the Peasant. And then draw to see what we get. Dispose Evidence. Really nice. Oh, perfect. We can just keep on turning out shit. That's well, four damage. And then we draw three. And that would have been nice one card earlier. But we drew two of them. We can just pass the turn back. Gotta be thinking. Okay, that is fine but what are they going to play to get rid of it then play something down ba oh that is not something i want to deal with oh <laughs> actually can kill everything that's nice perfect out of all the cards that i could have top deck we can draw three or four from here oh that's going to be a big real card especially because we didn't actually have to pay for it at all We can attack these two. Then we're at 13. Thinking about just placing... Yeah, let's just place down the Relic Vault to draw additional card. Oh, perfect, Jace. Though that could actually be stolen now that we only have three cards in hand. That might be a problem. <laughs> that Sire doesn't heal them up for that much. Okay. Magnifying glass, number two. Let's see what we can actually... We should be able to get lethal here, I think. It really just depends on what we draw to. And how much actually hits into the Sire. Come on, don't hit all into the Sire. Okay, false fanatic. Multi-strike times two. Okay, okay. Um, Let's use the Sentinel. We use the fanatic. Oh, perfect. Exactly what we need. That should give us lethal, and we'll hit through half damage. Okay, time for a game against Warlock. Huh, um, let's just keep everything here. We don't have any of the high power draw cards, but the Slither Sphere is a nice early game minion, so why not? Oh, perfect. Um, we do have a turn two play now. Well, we have two turn two plays. Let's just put down the Relic Vault. Drawing into Prince Renathal is annoying, especially because we don't run that many high-cost cards. And by high-cost, I mean three or above. And for some weird reason, that's always stuck to my hand. Of course. Complain about a high-cost card, get one of the higher-cost cards. Drag below. That actually hurts our strategy a little bit because it does add a card to our hand. Their Questline Warlock... That's actually kind of interesting, thinking about it. I haven't seen that deck in a while. We can put down the Peasant and then Renathal, I guess. And then next turn we can use the Relic if we really need to, to draw four. Also depends on what we top decked, to be honest. Oh, another Peasant, okay. Dispose Evidence, interesting. Um... Uh, no, that isn't really that big of a mistake, because we can guarantee this too. Actually, maybe it was a mistake. No, oh, it doesn't matter, we get it back anyways. Thus is the life of this deck. Okay, we're just gonna go face. I'm gonna try to beat them before they get their quest line online. It's a race for the quest. Who will win, Demon Hunter or Warlock? Okay, school teacher, let's see what they grab. I had a game where it was versus this deck in particular 
and they stole my quest line reward, which is why I mentioned don't keep your quest line reward in your hand for an additional turn. I don't think this is that game, but it was sure frustrating to have that happen to me. There's the second relic vault. Why not, I guess? I'm gonna get that down. Kill their 3 1. Draw 2. Or actually, 4, I guess. Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's use our weapon. Attack the 1-1. One, one. Attack the other 1-1. One, one. Get rid of that one. Go face. They're probably going to kill our other. Probably should have actually put down the Naga. Because it does cost 1. Shuffling the Fanatic back into the deck. Then passing the turn. Because we can use the Relic Vault plus the Relic to actually complete our quest if we really feel like it next turn. Abyssal Wave, okay, that's, I, I mean, it's fine, not like we had a big board or anything. Let's put that down, and here I'm going to make the mistake of having it on our hand, or maybe not, actually. Maybe this is a game where I don't do that. No, it is going to be a game where I do do that. Oh, that's actually interesting. It's almost tempting to just put the quest reward back into the deck but let's just draw in our card that's going to be good next turn yeah we could put it back into the deck but the curse is a lot better to put back into the deck and we don't have to deal with it come on we just don't have a way to steal it actually it doesn't even matter if they steal it they're at low enough hp we don't actually need it to win because we can use the relic of extinction to get rid of the most of the imps here Okay, why did they put the brand down? Okay, what do we want? Well, we'll put down the questline reward just to get out of the way. Let's kill a few of these. Okay, perfect. The brand is dead. Then it's a lot of them dead. Let's put down the hero card. And they give up. Okay, time for a game against Druid. Let's see what it is. I know they fixed the bug that was happening with the due process, which is real nice. Okay, going to get rid of the Sentinel and the Fossil Fanatic. Fossil Fanatic might have been alright to keep. Okay, so Peasant, and we're going second. We can coin out the Peasant if we really want to on turn one. We have no way to protect it any turn, so it would delay whatever turn they're going to do turn two. I think I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's just do it. Is we're going to be one card off of being able to get the first step completed, depending on what the top deck here. Okay, so they actually are going to kill the peasant. That's fine. I don't mind. I almost actually considered cutting the peasant just because of situations like that. We can put down the relic vault, I guess, and then pass the turn back. Okay, the ramp doesn't really tell me which variant of ramp it is, but they are ramp. Okay, sigil. What do we want to do here? Because we can use Sigil, that draws us to next turn. And then we can use the cheaper weapon and use our hero power, go face. Because we have three draws in hand, no matter what. Okay, getting two here. Of course, it had to be something high cost. Okay, so we're going to just kill this to be safe. And then we're just going to go face. And then pass the turn back being as aggressive as humanly possible here hmm let's use the magnifying glass put down the slither sphere go face draw one card see what we get relic of extinction nice top deck especially because it is a cheap card and we can just use it next turn could also use our hero card next turn it depends on how many minions they actually put down Ooh, okay. Relic Extinction actually gets rid of the rest of the board. Especially if we use the Relic Vault. Unless we get the Draw Relic. No, we aren't. Okay. So we can just use this. Draw to see what we get. Okay, of course. I'm gonna get rid of everything here. Hero Power. Draw one, I guess see what we can grab that would have been nice one card earlier 
Well, you're just going to pass it back to them. Well, you will draw two cards next turn. We are getting them lower, which is really nice. But that can be really, really annoying really, really quickly. Okay, draw two. Okay, that's a nice card, I guess. That's all right. We attack with one of those. Then we attack with the other. And then we can just go face. I think I missed the weapon trigger actually thinking about it there. That's fine, I guess. Master of Phelan. It's an interesting card to include in a ramp druid deck nowadays. I think most people have stopped running it. Theotar is not going to steal anything interesting here. I mean, the relic could, in theory, be what they would take, since we do have the relic vault on board. Honestly, that would be the one that I would take. Okay, they're actually taking the spell spell. I, I mean, it makes our Jace a little bit weaker, but we are still perfectly fine with that. Oh, extinction. I don't know why they'd give us a nourish. Just helps our quest along. There's one step. Would have been nice to get that magister a bit earlier, but it is what it is. Okay. We kind of want to use a relic vault to get some minions out, to be honest. And then we can use the relic of extinction to get rid of both of the minions on board. Then we can just go face and draw a card. Chaos Strike. I remember there was a game where I forgot that the Fossil Fanatic only draws spells out of your deck or fell spells. And I ran out of them and I was wondering why. It's a funny game. I don't remember if I won or lost that. I probably lost it because it was on stream. So they actually kill most of our board. That's actually kind of impressive. Fun. And go face. Don't know why I did it like that. Probably should have, you know, not done that. Oh, it depends it, on what we top deck. That might have not been that bad of a strategy. It's the second fanatic. That's another part of the quest completed. Let's use the multi strikes just to go face, I guess. Or at least one of them. I don't want to waste the second one, just in case. Okay, Fell Barrage. Nice. Need the second Relic Vault for the last step of the quest. Bibliomite. Doesn't really do us any good at, right now. And I really don't want to hit into that, but we might have to, to be honest. Let's draw. See what we get. Magnifying Glass. Pretty nice, actually. Then we can shuffle Relic, use that. We have two attacks, so we can actually get into it. I don't like doing this, but it might be the best solution. And they also already use Theotar, so I'm not really worried about them stealing our questline reward. I mean, they could have Mutanus. Mutanus is always a problem, but let's just take that risk. But they're going to draw three. Curious why they're drawing so many cards. Hell of Anixia. Can't actually really do them much there. We can use the Sentinel to start to draw a bunch of cards, I guess. I'm assuming most of the things here are going to just be instantly discounted reason why I'm going to do it like this. Of course we run into a stupid two cost card almost instantly. Well, I guess it would have been a four cost card. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so they're going to kill most of our board. That's actually perfectly fine. We do have the sightless in hand. We can actually draw into Jace. We're in a super good position. They're actually going to attack into our 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, that's the only way they can actually kill it. So. Actually, no. They could have killed it if they just let the peasant live. Okay, let's see. Let's shuffle that back into the deck. 
draw two. Of course we draw it again. There's the Jace. Let's draw three more, because why not? Go with Bell Barrage. Then we can draw some more if we really feel like it, or we could just end the game like this. Let's not make them suffer as much as they have to. And voila, we win. Alright, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. Overall, this deck, while a fun revisit, I don't think is the best deck in the world, which means I can't honestly recommend it. However, I do have a lot of fun with this type of deck. It's only missing one or two more really good draw cards to being really, really consistent. It does have a big payoff in the form of Jace currently, and it does have a lot of cards to actually facilitate some of the more conditional cards within the deck, such as Magnifying Glass or the Sightless Magistrate. When these cards go off, it feels incredible. But when you don't get access to these cards, it feels just like a weak, stereotypical questline Demon Hunter deck. I will definitely say, out of all the quests that don't really see much play right now, this is probably the one that has the most potential to be broken really, really quickly if it gets one or two more additional cards that it can easily abuse. If it has a way to actually duplicate the Ironbound Brutes again, or some other big payoff, then this deck is going to be incredibly good next expansion. But otherwise, as it currently stands, it's probably a mid-tier deck. So basically, if you have the quest line and most of the cards in this deck, try this one out. Otherwise, don't go out of your way to actually craft it, though there aren't very many cards in this deck that aren't very common in other even 100 decks right now, so you might have a real fun time because it can steal wins that no one will actually expect. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.